What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmadan. Um, I'm sorry I missed the past two days of uploads. It is currently Sunday, 12, 10 a.m. I just got home from UM Center because I went to Tarawih in Maryland tonight. And um, I've just been really tired and like the lack of sleep has been catching up to me. Um, but starting with Friday, I missed Friday's episode because after Juma prayer, I went to Harbor Freight, AutoZone, and the Volvo dealership to get... Uh, I got tools from Harbor Freight and AutoZone, and then I got the oil drain plug from uh, the Volvo dealership. And then afterwards, I went straight to Mustafa's warehouse where uh, I did the oil change on the Volvo, and then we also worked on Riku's car. I'm not going to say what we did, but you guys can probably tell what we're doing because in the... Uh, the video where I talk about like what's left for my car, you see in the beginning clips that uh, Riku's car is like struggling to go over a speed bump. So um, you guys will be seeing that video in a few weeks and I'm really excited to show it. But um, yeah, besides that, uh, yesterday as in Saturday, I uh, pretty much, I think it was like 10 a.m. or something. Uh, I had to wake up really early. Well, that's not really early, but early, early than usual because I had to, um, drive to Upper Mar Marlboro, Maryland, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, to buy an E90 M3 OEM windshield fluid reservoir. So i um, happy I got it. I actually got it for $40 cheaper than I listed in that other video. So uh, really stoked about that. Um, I wanna be including clips of like the past few days because I did record, I just didn't have time to edit or like finish the video. So. I have clips from the past few days, but they're not enough to make one single video for each of those respective days. So I um, just wanted to apologize. Uh, I'm just really tired and uh, the lack of sleep is getting to me. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not. But um, yeah, today's video, hopefully uh, we'll be going to the last uh, cars and coffee of during, sorry, the last cars and coffee during Ramadan. So. Hopefully I either go to Cars and Coffee Dallas Landing or Cars and Coffee Leesburg. And afterwards, I might be doing something else with Riku's car, I don't remember. Um, but then I'll be heading over to my friend Ronnie's house. We're gonna be working on his 335IS and uh, we'll probably take it from there. So after this, you guys are just gonna see um, clips of the past few days, like what I did on Friday at the shop, the oil change and blah, blah, blah. And then yesterday when I actually drove to Upper Marlboro, Maryland uh, and got the uh, windshield fluid reservoir. So um, I'm really excited about that. It was just a really long drive because going there was an hour 15 and then an hour 15 coming back. So I spent two and a half hours driving and it just really took it out of me. So um, without further ado, uh, we will commence or I'm not really articulate right now. I'm really tired. I haven't really gotten much sleep. so. Without further ado, we will commence on today's video, so... Alright guys, as you can see, the uh, M3 fluid reservoir has a designated like cutout because of the fender uh, design and whatnot. So, uh, that's that. Um, <laughs> Really excited I got that for really cheap. It was like 40 bucks, as I said, uh, on eBay. The cheapest I found was $80. So um, that was a good finger cross situation there. Um, I'm trying to show you guys on the maps right now where I am compared to like where I live. All right. So we are here right now and I live like in between here. So that is like an hour, 15 minutes away, and I'm honestly so tired right now, so. All right, well, that was easy. Um, I haven't bolted this down yet, but I just wanted to see if I had to do any fabrication. Uh, turns out I didn't. So um, for Vlogmodon only, I'll show you guys this uh, uncut, but later on for the video that I'm gonna release for the uh, part three of the M3 front end conversion. I'm probably gonna take this off and redo it just for the uh, just for the video. <laughs> so um, as you can see, it's on pretty, 
pretty well. I just need to secure it. Uh, it's really simple, actually. I don't really feel like taking this off now. Now that you've seen what I've done between Friday and Saturday, I also forgot to mention that I got my pack out uh, situation uh, fully completed. So everything has been situated. Uh, all my tools are in order. I'm a fully mobile mechanic now. So I'm really excited to show you guys my pack out situation. Um, I'll insert the clip after this. But um, now that I'm officially mobile, please tap in. Let me fix your car or detail it, uh, whichever one or both of them. Uh, this will really help me in the long run with finishing my car. Uh, my E90 is five years in the making. I got it in 2019 and I'm really excited to finish it because we're at the home stretch, literally. So um, yeah, hopefully after I show you guys the clip of my pack up situation, we will actually resume with today's video and hopefully we're at either one of or both of the cars and coffees and then uh, we'll just go from there. So yeah. OBD2 generator, oil pan or oil thingy, wheel ramps, two jacks, impacts, lights, my secondary storage unit, jack stands in there, miscellaneous tools in there, and then we got PPE and pliers, uh, miscellaneous sockets and uh, torque sockets. <laughs> Three eight inch, one half inch, one fourth inch, and Allen head and trim tools. The setup is complete. All right, guys, things did not go as planned. So, um, me, my mom, and my dad, all three of us missed Sukhor this morning. So after Fudger, I kind of got triggered because I didn't get to drink water. So I went back to sleep and I didn't wake up till like 11. So I missed both cars and coffees. And I don't think Olive went either. But now I'm at his house and we are going to be finishing the install of his lip. So I will catch you guys whenever I get uh, to his lip. Or like as you can see, his car is right there. So uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, change of plan. So I don't know if you can see behind me. Um, got Ronnie's car. We're at Ronnie's house right now. Um, I have Ali's lip right next to me. We are going to be working on both cars today. So um, fingers crossed, inshallah, we get Ronnie's car started tonight and um, we get that lip on Ali's car. So I don't actually know what's left yet for Ronnie's car, but um, I will have him speak on camera when he gets back from walking his dog. <coughs> walking his dog. But um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys then. Sorry this video has been like all over the place, but such is life, am I right? So um, I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. So it's just fucked up, dude. That's just all, that's all I can put it. Like we're doing a lot of maintenance. Found water in places where you should not see water. <laughs> but we have come a long way. Got her all out the piping, all out the intercooler. Um, since then, we replaced the oil filter housing gasket, the oil cooler gasket, pulleys, tensioner, um, fixed a crankshaft pulley that also had not, uh, what's the, not, uh, it had, uh, misthreaded bolt holes. So that wasn't cool, mm. but we fixed that. That's good to go. New valve cover, new valve cover gasket, new manifold gaskets, new throttle body o ring, or auto body gasket i guess and now we're just trying to put it back together so i can drive the fucking thing after almost a year you think we're gonna we're gonna get it started tonight i hope so i have faith we'll see n54 problems you never know <laughs> we'll find out See, that's why you got a 328 you know that, that's why i bought a 328 all right so let's go to 328 look at the new lip guys so I got a new lip. It doesn't really fit yet. I'm, I'm gonna cut my my bumper. What's new? Uh, my panel gap because uh, I cut my fenders so it wouldn't rub. Um, paint chip, dent, paint chip. Uh, I fixed it down here, but I painted it completely the wrong hey, color. Tap in if you need paint work. Um, uh, quarter panel is destroyed. Sun fade. Um, yeah, the left I, side of this car is actually so funny. My parking brake does not exist anymore. <laughs> My gas cap won't close. But she passes a very important test. 
Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. 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 Yeah, no, if you look at the car from the right, it's actually like mint. Yeah. Yeah, then you look at it from the, the left. Low key, like, is like valid, like low key. Like when I, how I painted it? Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Looks very, uh. For a little spray can job? No, like from the camera, you can't see. In the person, like you can. It's not bad, but it's not. You can just see orange peel, that's it. Yeah, that's it. But you just need, I just need to uh, like buff it out and sand it. Or sand it, buff it out, yes. It's looking yeah, clean. It. What's up guys um so we finally got ronnie's car started uh we went through all the maintenance over the past few months and we finally got it started um that smoke that you saw was just the old oil from the valve cover gasket leak that was just burning onto the uh, downpipes and uh it that happened to my car as well when you do it and it's very it's it's normal so don't worry about that if you guys are ever doing this at home and you see smoke you gotta just let it uh, run for like a minute or two and then afterwards it should just run like normal um, I'm gonna stop by here because it might, it might be dark but uh, I don't know if you guys can see um, there is an E90 I don't know if it's a 328 or 335 but it has the M3 front M3 style front bumper and it's uh, very clean but um, yeah, I'm gonna head to Tarawih now. Uh, this video is gonna upload probably at like 11:30 or something. Uh, but today has been sort of just like all over the place. I didn't. I also didn't have time to record. So um, I'm sorry about this, but uh, I'm really trying to like get back on the grind because I have already missed two days and I really don't want to miss any more. But um, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, so yeah, this is it for the video. Sorry, it's kind of like just a hot pot of everything. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been your boy. Don't forget, nothing's impossible. I'll take. <sighs> Don't forget, nothing's impossible. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.